Erectile dysfunction is defined as the persistent or recurrent inability to attain and maintain a penile erection sufficient for satisfactory sexual performance. It is a common condition, particularly in men over the age of 40, and can result from a variety of physiological, psychological, or mixed causes. In this video, I discuss the five commonest causes of erectile dysfunction along with their pathological basis. Number 1. Atherosclerosis In atherosclerosis, there is deposition of lipid plaques in the vasculature, which leads to narrowing and hardening of penile arteries, reducing blood flow to the corpora cavernosa. Adequate arterial inflow is crucial for achieving and maintaining an erection, and compromised flow results in weak or absent erections. Atherosclerosis is often associated with hypertension, hyperlipidemia, diabetes, and smoking. Number 2. Diabetes mellitus. Diabetes causes erectile dysfunction in three main ways. Neuropathy, vasculopathy, and smooth muscle dysfunction. In diabetic neuropathy, chronic hyperglycemia damages autonomic and somatic nerves involved in erection. Prolonged hyperglycemia accelerates atherosclerosis in penile arteries, which manifest as diabetic vasculopathy. High glucose levels also impair the relaxation of smooth muscle cells in the corpora cavernosa. Number 3. Psychogenic factors. Psychological conditions such as performance anxiety, depression, stress, and relationship issues can suppress the neural pathways required for erection. The limbic system and prefrontal cortex are involved in sexual arousal. Disturbances in these areas due to psychiatric conditions or stress inhibit activation of the parasympathetic system needed for erection. Number 4. Neurogenic Causes Disruption of neural pathways involved in erection, especially parasympathetic outflow, impairs the initiation of the erectile process. Some common causes include spinal cord injuries, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's disease, and pelvic surgery, which causes damage to the cavernous nerves. Number 5. Hormonal factors. Low levels of testosterone result in decreased libido and reduced nitric oxide synthase activity in penile tissues, impairing vasodilation necessary for erection. This can occur with aging, testicular dysfunction, or due to secondary causes such as pituitary or hypothalamic dysfunction. And finally, other hormonal imbalances such as hyperprolactinemia can also contribute to erectile dysfunction by inhibiting gonadotropin release.